Hey guys, another Instagram question here today, and this one's a doozy, so let's get right into it. Uh, hello, Dr. Ish, I need your help, exclamation point. My boyfriend, whom is the father of my two younger kids, I have a 16-year-old whom he has raised since he was five, uh, I have been with him, my boyfriend, for 11 years now, which is a long time, and in the past years, my boyfriend has fallen to drugs in different periods where he gets very angry, makes up the biggest stories that I'm unfaithful, and I feel like he also hallucinates and, again, uh, makes up stories, and this can last up to a week or longer. But this last time, my daughter was the one affected, where she called him up to find out where I was because I didn't have my phone at the time. So when she called him, he started asking her if she wanted money. And so she's like, yes, he asked her in other situations, I'll give you money, but you have to wash the car slash minor chores and stuff. But this time he started an uncomfortable conversation for her when he asked her if she would make him happy if he gave her $300. Or if he gave her a kiss, what would she do? And then started saying, don't say anything about what I said and hung up. He says he doesn't remember anything, but I believe my daughter 100%. I don't know what to do about him in this situation. Unsure about him uh, if I should leave him because I would never accept that. But can he really not remember something like that under influence of drugs? Or is it all bullshit? Please help. Any advice would be so grateful. Mom in desperate need to help my daughter and my family. Um, listen, if you can't protect your daughter from people who would do her harm, you're failing as a mom, period. Point blank, no way around it, no way to sugarcoat it. Here's what you have, here's what you don't have. You had a boyfriend of 11 years. Now what you have is a drug addict in your home who is lying to you and lying to your children. And I don't like the term drug addict because we get all these behavioral connotations that go with it, right? They're making a choice. They're slippery, they're slimy, they're liars, they're manipulators, they're users. I wouldn't have called them that. I would have said a substance abuser, but the behavior you're describing is addict behavior. He's lying, he's making up stories, he's manipulating, he's offering people things for money that he needs in return, right? That's addict behavior. Here's where it is, simple, plain, cut, and dried. If you walked into my office and told me this, we'll be on the phone right now to CPS getting him up out of your house. If you don't have the strength to have the conversation and you don't have the strength to get him out of your home, then you can call CPS, Child Protective Services, and they will put in a phone call and they will come knock on that door and they'll remove him from the home until they can figure out if the allegations are true. Until they can figure out if he's abusing substances or not. Because what you've got right now is you're trying to play detective and you're trying to play policeman and you're trying to come up with all these BS excuses that, oh, by the way, don't matter of why I should keep this man in my house. And what you're setting yourself up for is a nightmare situation because something's going to happen with your daughter that can't be undone. And something's going to happen with your daughter that she can't unremember. And something's going to happen with your daughter that she's going to spend the next 10 to 15 to 20 years trying to get over. And oh, by the way, something's going to happen to your daughter that she's going to blame you for because you didn't do your job as mom, which is protect her from the addict that you've got living in your house. If you don't have the strength to do it yourself, you need to do it for your daughter. Woman up, mom, all the way up. Your job is not to get him clean. Your job is not to get him sober. Your job is to keep him away from your daughter because he's now doing inappropriate things that are putting her in harm's way. And if you can't do it yourself, you pick up the phone call, you call CPS, and they will come and do it for you, and you and your daughter move on. And once he is clean, once he is sober, once he is appropriate, then you make the decision about how he can fit back into your life, if at all, and you go from there. I am stern. I am resolute in this fact. Do your job as mom. Do the right thing for you and for your daughter. And I hope this helps and I hope you follow through.